boys and girls. It's Marcy Chevalis, and it's time for a story. It's story time. Today's story is Clifford's First Autumn by Norman Bridwell. This is an AR book. If you take AR test number 17515, it's level 1.8 and it's worth half a point. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth and I have a dog named Clifford. When Clifford was a tiny puppy, he loved the summertime. He went to play in the park every day. Do you like summer too? I like being out in parks. Clifford chased the birds. He never caught one. On the way home, we always stopped to smell the flowers. Then summer ended. One morning, Clifford woke up to hear the radiator hissing. The radiator kind of makes the room warm. I picked him up so he could see out the window. He was surprised to see smoke coming out of his nose. It was just his breath in the frosty morning air. Fall had come. I put on a warm coat and took Clifford out. Hmm, what do you notice about fall? looked different. There were leaves all over the ground. Clifford couldn't chase the birds. They were all flying south. Did you know that in autumn or the fall, birds migrate? Migrate means to move. They all move to the south where it's warmer because birds like to be where it's warm. The flowers were gone and there were pumpkins in their place. Clifford had never seen pumpkins uh-oh, he jumped up and crash! Pumpkins rolled all over the street. Oh no. Now, where did Clifford go? Do you see him anywhere? Hmm, <gasps> there he is. Sometimes Clifford was a naughty puppy. We said goodbye to the store owner and went into the park. A gust of wind blew more leaves off the trees. At first, Clifford was frightened. Then he started to chase the leaves. It was fun. We saw a big pile of fallen leaves. Clifford plunged in. Have you ever jumped into a pile of leaves? Then a strange object bounced right in front of Clifford. Can you tell what that strange object was? There it is. A football. There was a long string on it. Clifford took hold of the string and he ran. Suddenly a boy grabbed the object. I guess he didn't see Clifford. Oh no. A lot of kids came running after the boy. One girl shouted, hey, there's a puppy on the football. The boy dropped the ball. So Clifford took it and ran. He crossed the white line and all the kids cheered. Clifford had scored a touchdown. The kids told me Clifford was a very special dog. Do you know any dogs that play football? I don't. Yep, he must be very special. He even scored a touchdown. Way to go, Clifford. They should see him now. What a fun story about fall. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story and that you'll take some time in the fall to go check out those leaves and to feel the cool, crisp air. Thank you for reading and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.